What do you expect me to say? You know that I will always find a way To fuck up everything that we ever made Some people change and some people don't Don't give it another shot We've had enough, I think it's time to stop I fucked up everything we ever made Some people change, but you know I won't Maria, I wanna make everything okay Don't trust me, forgive me, you have to find a way Maria, I wanna this rare classic car has just sold 1.6 million dollars. You have to run away. What do you expect me to do? Push you away when we're both feeling blue. No lies can help with what you're going through. Some things can change, but you know it won't. Why do we wait for the worst? Everyone knows that the ending is cursed. This ship is sinking, so just say the words. Some people change, but you know I won't. Maria, I wanna make everything okay Don't trust me, forgive me, you have to find a way Maria, I wanna make everything okay Don't trust me One of Maserati's classic cars, the 1961 Maserati 5000 GT Indianapolis Coupe Just sold for over $1 million on auction site Bring a Trailer it is one of only three four 5,000 GT coupes ever produced, and only 22 used the Carrozzeria Alamano body by Michelotti. Not only that, this model is also the only Indianapolis model produced, as a tribute to Maserati's success in the Indianapolis 500. No wonder the selling price is so fantastic. The Maserati 5000 GT is a historical vehicle from Maserati that was even dubbed as, the car for kings. The first vehicle of this model was ordered by the Shah of Iran, Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, who wanted a version of the 3500 GT with a V8 engine from the 450S race car. The Maserati 5000 GT was first launched in 1959 and produced this luxury model for the next seven years for buyers around the world. Everything that we ever made Some people change and some people don't Don't give it another shot We've had enough, I think it's time to stop I fucked up everything we ever made Some people change, but you know I won't Maria. Reporting from Car Buzz, July 20th The car that was sold also has a unique history the car had serial number, chassis, 103,014 and was completed in September 1961. The car was photographed and included in the 5000 GT brochure and made the cover of Auto Italiana magazine before being sold to entrepreneur William H. Brown of Pittsburgh. Feeling blue, no lies can help with what you're going through. Some things can change, but you know it won't. Why do we wait for the worst? Everyone knows that the ending is cursed This ship is sinking so just say the word Brown received the vehicle in Italy and drove it all over Europe before sending it back to America for a few years, then sending it back to Italy for maintenance. After that, it was sold to an owner in Tuscany in 1967, then returned to an American owner in 1975, and imported to Britain in 1980. In 1996, the model was purchased by Maserati collector John F. Bookout Jr., who then performed a complete repair of the vehicle in 2001. Finally, in 2016, it was sold to its last owner before selling again on the Bring a Trailer auction site. As an Indianapolis model, this vehicle is characterized by horizontally lined grille and the words, Indianapolis, on each wing.
During repairs, the car was disassembled into metal parts before being repainted in the original Grigio Montebello colors, and the entire interior was reupholstered in red leather. Make everything okay. Don't trust me. Believe me. You have to run away. As well as bodywork improvements, improvements were also made to the 4941 cc V8 engine with its distinctive 4 cam cam, as well as Luca's mechanical fuel injection system and dual ignition, all combined with a 4 speed manual transmission. model in 2016, it was able to sell for $1.6 million. This is an indication that the used car market is starting to decline after the last few years. Even so, investing in this car is still considered better than buying the latest Maserati MC20. This poison's in my veins Liars are all the same